Sancho is finished at Manchester United. Alejandro Garnacho is the real deal. Argentine winger Alejandro Garnacho has made an impressive debut season at Manchester United, demonstrating the potential to make history at Old Trafford. Since the club was established in 1878, Manchester United has had a reputation for creating successful wingers. From George Best and Ryan Giggs to Cristiano Ronaldo, Garnacho has reignited that tradition with his outstanding performances, where he shows a fearlessness to take on players with his dribbling prowess and electric left foot. This season, the 18-year-old has made a significant impact by scoring five goals and providing six assists in 36 appearances under the leadership of Eric Ten Hag. Unfortunately, an ankle injury sustained during a match against Southampton has derailed his season and preventing him from making his debut for the Argentina national team. Nevertheless, it is thought that he will return before the season ends to aid Manchester United in their pursuit of the FA Cup and Europa League titles, as well as securing their return to the Champions League. With Jaden Sancho currently struggling to find his feet, his input will be much needed. Join us as we take a look at Alejandro Garnacho's extraordinary rise and how he pipped Jaden Sancho to a first team position. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things football. From Madrid to Manchester Garnacho started his youth career at Getafe, but it was short-lived as he soon joined Atletico Madrid at the age of 11. His talent was immediately apparent at Atletico, and he scored an impressive 30 goals in 25 games in his first season, followed by becoming the top scorer in his second. Garnacho played a crucial role in defeating Barcelona, led by Gavi, in the final of La Liga Promises, the prestigious Spanish youth tournament, scoring a goal in their 6-1 victory. At 15 years old, Garnacho had already scored an impressive 27 goals in 20 games and had gained the attention of scouts from both Spain and Premier League, especially due to his reputation for delivering in matches against Real Madrid, a team he supports. Prior to the Argentinian's arrival at Manchester United, Garnacho was a fan of the Portuguese player. Eventually, Bernardo Guzman, formerly of Atletico Madrid and now an international scout for United, poached Garnacho at age 16. Just over a year later, he made his senior debut for the Red Devils and now looks posed to reach the top of the game. At the time, Atletico Madrid received a small transfer fee of €100,000 for Garnacho. He later joined the Manchester United Academy after the club paid Atletico a transfer fee of €480,000. Now he is value and estimated to be closer to €100 million. Euro. The Spanish club's recent efforts to renew contracts for their top academy talents can be seen as a response to the loss of Garnacho and the ongoing battle with Real Madrid for top prospects. First year in Manchester Upon his arrival in England, Garnacho was determined to succeed at Manchester United, but he faced the additional hurdle of arriving in September 2020 when COVID restrictions were still in place in Manchester. During most of his first year at the club, Garnacho and his fellow teammates were limited to training for only 75 minutes per day and were not permitted to use the dressing room facilities. Nick Cox, Manchester United's head of academy, shed light on the Argentinian's dire situation. For a young kid to arrive in those conditions and integrate into a new football club with a new language is not an easy thing to do, Cox explains. He was a slow starter here and took a little time in his first year with us to find his feet, but that's fine. We were always going to be patient. The second year was when he really caught the eye. During his second season at Manchester United, Garnacho played for both the under-18s and the U23 teams. However, it was his exceptional performance in the FA Youth Cup that highlighted his talent as he scored seven goals in six matches, with five of them being at Old Trafford. He gained particular attention for scoring a solo goal in the FA Youth Cup win over Everton, which was nominated for United's Goal of the Month award for February 2022. These performances in the youth team earned him a call-up to the first-team squad. Breaking into the first team Although he had been named as an unused substitute for several Premier League matches, Garnacho was given his first team debut by Ralph Ragnick on April 28th when he came on as a substitute for Anthony Alonga in the 91st minute of the 1-1 draw against Chelsea. He racked up a few more minutes towards the end of the season and was later included in the Manchester's United preseason tour with the first team. Despite his talent, he struggled to get playing time under Ten Hag. It wasn't until October's Europa League match against Sheriff that he finally got his first start, and he made the most of it by delivering a superb performance. Shortly after, he scored his first Premier League goal in the 90th minute of a match against Fulham, which secured a dramatic win for his team. In the following months, Garnacho's contributions to United's success continued to grow. He provided the assist for Marcus Rashford's winning goal against Manchester City, scored a goal against fierce rival Leeds, and netted a superb late strike to secure a win against West Ham in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Attitude problem? 
Although Eric Ten Hag praised Garnacho for his performance in the Europa League win over Sheriff Trespol, the manager admitted that the winger had a difficult start to the season as he was not meeting expectations. A week after his first start, Garnacho found the back of the net for the first time against an away game against Real Sociedad. After Garnacho scored the remarkable goal in San Sebastian, Bruno Fernandez commented that the player had a poor attitude during their summer tour. This was later revealed to be due to Garnacho being late for two team meetings during the trip to Bangkok and Australia, resulting in him being excluded from playing in any of the four tour games. Tin Hag is faced with the challenge of managing the hype around Garnacho. While this is part of his job, there have been recent cases where youth prospects let their ego get the best of them. Therefore, the manager has been extremely prudent. Despite Garnacho's stellar performances, the young talent has yet to be promoted to the first team dressing room at Carrington. Nevertheless, as each week passes, excitement and buzz continue to grow around United's rising star. As the saying goes, time is the greatest healer and Garnacho has learned from his mistakes. Although tough, Ten Hag's approach seems to have had a positive impact on him. The tough love he received during the tour helped him realize his shortcomings, and United is now benefiting from his growth and maturity. Since his mistake, insiders report that Garnacho has undergone a significant attitude adjustment, and he is now one of the first players to arrive at Carrington for the training on a regular basis. People who are familiar with him claim that there was never a significant problem. They portray him as a reserved individual off the field, very distinct from the assertive player on it. Despite this, he had to display significant resilience after transferring to United from Atletico Madrid during the pandemic, which meant he was away from his family and confined to training at Carrington and residing in temporary accommodations for the first three months. Garnacho's mother, father, and younger brother have now joined him in England. The sight of his emotional parents recording him from the director's box at Old Trafford when he made his first team debut against Chelsea in April, or the large group of supporters who traveled from his hometown in Madrid to back him against Sociedad last week illustrates just how tight-knit the family is. Furthermore, in March 2022, Garnacho was selected for the 44-man training squad by Argentina. Garnacho, who was part of the squad, went on to make his debut for the Argentina Under-20 team against the USA and had an impressive showing in the Towelin tournament over the summer, earning a spot in the tournament's best 11. Although Garnacho was entitled to more time off before returning to United, he arrived early, eager to impress new manager Ten Hag. He had previously requested a personalized gym program from United's fitness staff to help build muscle mass in preparation for his breakthrough season with the club. Sources indicate that his physique has developed impressively since he joined the club, and coaches are pleased with his dedication to training. In addition to his physical training, Garnacho has been working with a nutritionist outside the club to ensure that his diet meets the demands required, and he has been taking regular language lessons to improve his English. Despite his progress, Garnacho has not forgotten his teammates from the Youth Cup winning side and makes a point to watch the under-21s play whenever possible. Facundo Pellistri, another South American youth player on the team, has become a close friend of Garnacho, which has helped him integrate into the first team. Additionally, Lissandro Martinez, an Argentinian international, has taken on the role of an older brother and has been guiding Garnacho through the early stages of his promising career. Manager Eric Ten Hag understands the importance of nurturing talented young players and has been doing so with Garnacho. His talents are quickly being recognized by the footballing world. In May 2022, Garnacho was awarded the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year prize, having scored two goals in the FA Youth Cup final against Nottingham Forest, which helped Manchester United secure the first win in the competition in a decade. Garnacho's impressive performances have now been recognized in the footballing world, as he was recently named one of the top nine footballers born in 2004 or later as part of the inaugural NXGN9. It's clear that the only way is up for Garnacho, and the club recognizes this. Despite signing his first professional contract in July 2021, he is set for another bumper contract in 2023. Watch this space. All in all, Alejandro Garnacho's debut season at Manchester United has been nothing short of impressive, with the young Argentinian winger showing that he has the potential to continue the club's legacy of producing successful wingers. With his dribbling prowess, electric left foot, and fearlessness in taking on defenders, Garnacho has demonstrated his worth to his team, contributing five goals and six assists in 36 appearances. Although an ankle injury sustained in a match against Southampton derailed his season, it is hoped that he will return to aid Manchester United in their pursuit of the FA Cup and Europa League titles. His impressive performances have seen him pip Jadon Sancho to a first-team position. With his talent and determination, there is no doubt that Garnacho is one to watch in the years to come.
Let us know in the comments below whether he should start ahead of Jaden Sancho. And be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for a part 2 on our Wonder Kid series.